Y'all, have you heard? Have you heard? Kenya Moore is rooting for Phaedra Park to be brought back into the fold of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, 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 yes. Don't know if you heard, but you're hearing about it now. Okay. Welcome, welcome back to Deb Chanel's 40s World. I'm your host, Deb Chanel. Okay, bringing it to you on some celebrity news that I think you possibly can use. Okay, if not, just let it fly. Just let it fly. Okay, but if you're here for the mess, if you're here for the indie windows, if you're here just to be here, cool, 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 cool. But we're going to be talking about Candy, Cynthia, and Kenya Moore, and the possi- possibility of bringing back, and Kenya Moore is on board with it, Phaedra Parks, which Candy does not even like. Allegedly to this day. Okay. Because of what she had put her through. And Apollo as well. But I'm trying to find the story. Where Kenya Kenya Moore confesses and confirms all this stuff. She's talking about the shake up. Bringing Sheree Whitfield back. Which I'm trying to figure out why. She's possibly dropping hints that Cynthia won't be back. And she wants Phaedra to come back. Of all things. Because I'm like wait a minute. Phaedra, Candy, Phaedra, Portia, uh, what were we talking about? The dungeon, the sex dungeon. Remember, all things work together for your good, according to the Lord. Okay? That's Romans 8, chapter 28. But yeah, weren't they friends, y'all? Candy and uh, Cynthia and Kenya. You know, the three musketeers. Or the three muscarettes. You know what I'm saying? They were against Nene, Portia, and, and the rest of the crew. They held their own back in the day. I think it was like season, let me see, 11, 12, 13 maybe, that they held this tight bond. But now it seems like Kenya Moore's on board with bringing Phaedra Parks back. She thinks she makes good reality TV. I'm like, girl, when did you jump ship? Girl, when did you jump ship? I said, girl, this girl is maturing to the fullest, okay? She's all about her coin. She's about no loyalty. She ain't about no friendship. And I'm sure that's kind of making Candy Burris feel some kind of way. Because she's trying to do her own little endeavors as well. I'm talking about she want to be a producer on some stage plays and this, that, and the third. And I guess Cynthia's living a life with her husband, Ma, trying to do some things. I don't know. But this is the cast that they had for season 13. We all know that it didn't fare well. A lot of people speculated because Nene wasn't there. You know, Nene makes good TV. But I don't think she could have held it down as either because it was treading water when she was on there. But they tried to bring Faith, uh, Faith Pauls back. She's back in the limelight. Yeah. That would be a great matchup to try to find the true story behind the dungeon mess as well as Apollo mess. And, woo, child, that would be a story to tell. But them two bone collectors. Uh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. The matchup is not going to work. Because I'm still trying to figure out why they bring a charade back. Don't nobody want to see charade? Not really. If you had your whole hands up, everybody had to raise two. I'm sure when no hands be up trying to bring charade back. I mean, she was a bone collector. We already got Candy and Cynthia, okay? And we don't know if Cynthia's still going to be there. I mean, you can bring two more people and replace Cynthia all together. <sighs> but y'all remember freaking Fred. I know y'all remember freaking Fred. Girl, they were the dynamic duo back in the day. But, of course, Kenya went out with some more girls of the franchise and had their own little thing. And, you know, the rest of the people, meaning her crew, meaning Kenya, looking at her like she's stupid. You know, Marlo ain't never been on nobody's team. (laughs) Okay. She's always been team solo, even when Nene was on the, uh, the boat with them. But it just is what it is. Paige made good TV. And she could read you down just like a gay person. Okay. She could read you down just like a gay person. And it was effortless. Okay. Because she was trying to hit him with the Bible. And the immorality. And I'm like, come on. That's kind of being hypocritical, aren't we, uh, Phaedra? But anyway, we're going to go on to the story that E.T. brought out. That's etonline.com. Okay. Uh, Bryce Sanders uh, put it out there on September 8th. I'm a little late, but that's 
There's nothing new to you all. There's nothing new to you all. Okay, it says Kenya Moore confirms big Real Housewives of Atlanta cast shakeup and talks ultimate girls trip a drama. They're giving us the exclusive tea. Okay, it goes on to say in the article, Kenya Moore is playing coy about her return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14, sort of. When asked by E.T. if she'll be back on Bravo when the hit series returns, she offers up a slide. Well, we'll just have to see. Before confessing, she expects to start filming again in October. Man, if they didn't come back with Kenya, they didn't have no show. Just because you're going to say only Portia, Candy, who are really not friends. They just play nice with each other. Cynthia, Drusador, going to hold it down. People probably wouldn't even turn on their TV. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't turn on their TV. But if they had them two in line with each other and possibly trying to get into it with each other too, that makes good television. Because Candy, um, no, we just need to probably see her spin off. But she can't hold a show by herself. And we know definitely Cynthia can't, all right? She don't like to be called the auntie when she's really looked at, at the, like the grandma. But, you know, maybe... Mike is holding her down in L.A. and she wants to go and be with the L.A. Hollywood uh, production of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or whatever they call them. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of suspect with that as well. But I'm like, Phaedra, bring Phaedra back. I mean, if we forgave Marlo talking about the gays, surely we could forgive uh, Phaedra for, you know, putting a little here and there out there on candy birds. Just throw a little salt here and there. You know what I'm saying? Let bygones be gone. Bygones. Okay. Put the ashes in the sea. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, she tells E.C. Uh, there will definitely be some cash shakeups, she tells uh, Laura Zim Zim Zima. From E.T., some new faces and some old faces won't be here. That's what she said. That's what she said. Some new faces coming and some old faces won't be here. So I'm thinking, okay, we need some old faces. Are you talking about Cynthia Bailey, girl? Are you talking about Cynthia Bailey? Because she should have been out. We should have been throw her out with the baby. You know how to say, don't throw the baby out with the bath water, but both of them had to go. And that means Cynthia and her, um, her uh, we call it, essence on the show. Really, really gone. Gone bye-bye. Put her to bed. Put a fork in her. She's done. But anyway, it goes on to say in the article, the season 13 lineup for Real Housewives of Atlanta, including, or included Kenya, longtime wife, Cynthia Bailey, Portia Williams, and Cannon Burris, plus newbie, Drew Sador. Rumors on the blogs, as they've known in the Housewives universe, speculate Cynthia may be out of the mix after more than a decade on the show, which she addressed in June on the Wendy Williams show. And if y'all didn't catch it, she did kind of got kind of gave her a little goodbye speech but you know who knows bravo don't know if they coming or going these days because technically they might need to get rid of the host i'm just saying get rid of the host try something new you know pull some more stops out and revive the show but right now we still got it on uh the ventilator or uh, respirator it, it still got a heartbeat but it's not on its own okay Need, it's needing some help all right, but going on, that was just my pun intended, not in this latest article. It's a word on the street is, I may be out of a job, meaning Cynthia Bailey's telling Wendy Williams, the supermodel crack. Here's the thing, nobody really wants to be fired. I mean, my first job was Taco Bell. See, that's what I'm saying. Cynthia went all the way back. I mean, nobody care about her heyday. You know, she could just say, you know, people lose jobs here and there. I had a good run. I saved my coins. I have many business adventures. And I look forward to the future. That's all she could have said. That's all that was needed to be said. But now, she go back to talking about some Taco Bell, her first job in high school. I'm like, girl, that's why we left you on the rock. And continue. I'm about like Kim Zosia. Just sit there and look pretty. Don't say that. Just sit there and look pretty and don't say that. And I was like, I wholeheartedly believe Kim wasn't being racist when she said that. She just knew Cynthia didn't have it all upstairs. The elevator did not go to the straight, the top of the floor. So she had just tell, just sit there and be quiet. Sit there, make sense in your own little world, but don't say that. Don't say that. Don't offer nothing either. Uh, but going back to the article, it said, um, you know, Cynthia was comparing herself as being fired from the Real Housewives of Atlanta as uh, being fired from Taco Bell. She said, I wouldn't want to be fired from there either. I would want the option to leave if I wanted to go. God's will, not my will, will be done. I have had an amazing run. It's been 11 amazing years as a consistent peach holder. Okay, yeah. 
Was that her goodbye speech to us? I don't know. Because like I said, Bravo full of mess. Full of crap. And, you know, all in all, she should have been gone, but it's you with a deal. Okay, moving on. It says, Portia and Drew Peach holding fates. Reportedly hanging in balance, too, with Portia focusing on filming a spinoff centered around her family. Meanwhile, Candace all but confirmed her return to the show when speaking with E.T. earlier this summer, okay? She says, I love the oldies, but goodies. I love the OGs, as they call them. Can you offer us up when pressed on who she might like to see return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which could be a hint that original cast member Sheree Whitfield would be in the Housewives lineup for the third time. Can you also name drop Fraser Pauls? I was like, oh, girl, that's what I'm talking about. Bring Fraser Pauls back. Bring her back. We need her. Okay, start up a petition or a poll. We need her, girl. We need her. But anyway, she goes on to say, and it sure ain't going to make Candy Burroughs happy. But I'm like, girl, Candy done got her coin on this show. She must leave, please. Get on out the way. Make room for new faces. Because I'm telling you. They had a drama with Phaedra back. Talking about Apollo. And how she's trying to co-parent with him. And just having Apollo. You know come in from time to time. Oh and can you put her little two cents in. Marvelous ingredient. For a wonderful dish or appetizer. I'm just saying. Not in this article. But just my own spin. Alright. But anyway it says. Uh, can you also name drop Phaedra Pause. As a possible re-addition to the. A cast, a lawyer, last appeared on Real Housewives of Atlanta season 9, which ended with explosive re uh, reveal that Phaedra was the one behind the spread of the rumors about Candy trying to drug and take advantage of Portia. <laughs> I'm like, now that was a bull. That was bull right then and there. Can't nobody take, uh, take can't nobody take, um, what do you call it? Uh, advantage of Portia unless we talking about her ex-husband and her former Supposedly be husband Simon Gabadia, <laughs> and that, them folks ain't like it. Simon Gabadia, they tearing him down. They tearing him down on social media. I'm like, is the man worth it? Is the man worth it? Oh Lord! But anyway, Porsche gonna do what she wanna do whenever she wanna do it. Okay, I really do think she should have kept her job at Dish Nation, huh? She need to keep all her eyes in the fire till she realize what she got, and it don't seem like it's too much. So. You know, maybe she can't get back into this nation. She was talking about leave the door open for her, but Portia shouldn't have left in the first place. This is my point intended, not in this article. But anyway, going back to the article, uh, you know, it was uh, allegedly said that Candy was holding a sex dungeon. And, 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 you know, of course, Candy, you know, immediately denied it. It was just her and Phaedra going through a rough patch and it's just too much salt thrown at each other but anyway we got kenya in the midst of it now she wants to have portia back not portia but phaedra paul's back now how does that make candy feel i wonder her ace boom coon trying to bring in her ex ace boom coon that tried to sabotage her and put her out to pasture with her income is what i'm trying to say how does she feel that her arch nemesis is hooking up with her so-called friend and is Kenya more trying to turn her back on Candy and Cynthia? She don't need them no more. <laughs> so she got her foot back in the door, y'all. Is that what Kenya Moore is doing these days? But anyway, Kenya ain't loyal to nobody but herself and Brooklyn, honey. Brooklyn and herself. If you don't know, now you know in my biggie voice, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says the fans love Phaedra. Kenya notes, I don't think it would be a bad idea to have her back. Kenya's words. I'm like, ooh, slap can in the face all upside her head. I think it would be a very I think it would be very interesting, she said. <laughs> I, I bet it would. You don't put salt on both your friends, girl. The ones that got you back up in the show, bowed to get you back and you back. And now you turn your backs on them, Kenya. I'm like, oh, rap, you're in rap farm, Kenya. You're in rap farm, girl. You're like, you ain't taking no prisoners this season. But anyway, going back to the article, it says as far as who she like not to see back on the show. Kenya doesn't name names and does say she preferred to avoid the return of any enemies of which she made a few over the years. However, Kenya quickly qualifies all her comments with, uh, I don't really know anything, but yeah. Alana never disappoints, she adds. It's likely Peacock's The Real Housewives of Ultimate Girls Trip show also will, be, will not be a disappointment. Can you film the spinoff series, which fans have referred to all stars earlier this year with housewives from all over the country? Cynthia is, is part of the show, along with The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Kyla Richards, The Real Housewives of New York, Ramona Singer, and Luana de something, Luan de List or something like that. And the Real Housewives of New Jersey, Melissa Gorga and Teresa Geis. 
Okay, when I tell you, this is Kenya, it was the best show that I filmed, Kenya Gushes. Yeah, it is so good. It was so amazing filming it, different from anything I've ever experienced. The girls were outstanding. Like it was just like, it was so, it was like a symphony, you know. It was just magic everywhere you look. And I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? Because you with uh, different different nationalities other than your own, Kenya, different cultures. What are you talking about, baby? Because they still women you know, fairly uh lucratively rich and they talk a mess. Okay. They just talk a mess, okay? Just a different scenery for you or different culturisms for you. But it's the same mess. Same Bravo mess. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of other states. Same mess. No different day. Well different day, same mess, they say. Okay, going back to the August says you had the top people, she continues, but they were all interesting. What they brought to the table was different. We we broke the fourth wall a lot. So then they would reveal how they felt in this moment from the respective shows or what really happened. Or if it was just like pulling back that veil and seeing what it's really like to be a housewife. Can you compare some of the behind the scenes reveals made on Ultimate Girls Trip to the special episodes Bravo has released over the years? Diving deep into the specific seasons or episodes of the show, The Real Housewives and the Vanderpump Rules. It was like one big special, but with the drama between these ladies who don't actually work together, she says. Noted, things get heated right away. I think a lot of the ladies bring a lot of drama, I'm sure, she claims, or exclaims. She's somewhat, or someone you know on the plane ride just got Called a B word, okay, so right off the bat, 20 minutes in, there were a lot of battles happening. Can you confess this? No, not seriously, because you have seven women with seven different personalities, and it was just like we were in a home, we were in a villa, sequestered basically, and long hours of work, and it's just like big attitudes, big egos, big hair, you know, it was just a lot of things happening, everything you needed. Okay, and I'm like, okay, you are we taking you back to your pageant days, can y'all? We taking it back to your pageant days, okay? Girl, that's what you're giving me with this interview. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, before fans could see everything that unfolds with the Kenya, uh, with Kenya and her co-stars on Ultimate Girls Trip, streaming later this year on Peacock, viewers can tune in to Dance with the Stars, Kenya joins the ABC competition for its 30th season, kicking off on a Monday, September 20th. I have been a fan of the show for years, can you tell ZT, and I got the offer, and I was like, oh, I have to do it. <laughs> like, girl, you know you do. Keep yourself out there. Good press is all press, okay? Good press, bad press is all good press in Hollywood world. So, if that's where you want to be, girl, do you. Do you and keep it moving, okay? But, because I always thought that's what started for has-beens that were trying to revive their career. But, Kenya's really not a has-been. But, if she wants that extra exposure, let's give it to her. Let's give it to her because she makes great reality TV. We can't take that from her. We just got to stay in our lane when we're looking at her and knowing that she don't act this way outside them doors. And, we hoping and praying she don't. What she gives us on TV, we hope she ain't going to do the same thing on the outside. Okay, not like a counterpart in any, because then they be, you know, out in these Atlanta streets and be treating people like, she don't, she don't lost her mind. Like, why are you approaching me? Okay, just make like you don't see me. You know, the kind of arrogance thing that Nene does here and there. But again, Nene makes great reality TV as well. So, hey, gotta hate them, gotta love them. This is what it is. Okay, but that's all I had of this story, y'all. Girl, is Kenya turning the tables on her two friends or her so-called friends? <laughs> Girl, can I better watch out and, and and what's her name? I don't even think she liked it. Um, uh, Shrey at one time, so that's gonna be interesting. I think she just they using uh Shrey to come back not as the bone collector, but for Kenya to get into with it. Cause that's what I think. Cause they had that Chateau Shrey and, and uh, Kenya a little off with the mold, and they just going back and forth with one another. So yeah, I think she's bringing her in for Kenya to have someone to pick on okay or to compete with on the show I should say but that's all I got for this video uh guys <laughs> Candy trust the wrong one did she y'all can't trust the wrong one but she has other endeavors she's planning to be doing producing movies or producing plays or something I mean a mother's love we know how that went so and she had taught um uh, on the forefront of that and again we see how that went so 
I, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like with Candy these days, okay? But she has other businesses she's supposed to around the Atlanta area. Uh, and we just see what, what happens. We just see what happens, y'all. Because I don't care what nobody say. They bread and butter is and always will be the one that pays them. Even though they get paid, what, six months out of the year, they still make a lot of money in those six months, okay? Compared to everyday working folks, all right? Okay, unless you're in a strong profession as a doctor, lawyer, or funeral uh, director or something to that degree, you know. And um, that's all I got, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Remember to share and subscribe. All right. That's how, how y'all can help me build up the channel that I left alone for a long time. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Lord, you see the dogs are here. The dogs are back, y'all. I'm back and the dogs are back. But y'all be blessed. I'll see y'all next video. Take care.